Okay, uh, tell us your name and where you're from. I'm Shaler Cam and I'm from Tacoma, Washington. And I have a shop just outside of South Tacoma in Lakewood. Yeah. And, uh, what kind of a community is Lakewood? Lakewood's uh, kind of a military community. I have McCord Air Force Base across the street. And I have a Fort Lewis, which is just down the road about five miles. Yeah. Are those your clientele primarily? Uh, a good chunk of them, yeah. Yeah. And uh, we get other people there. We get uh, civil service employees. We get a lot of folks from the area, uh, metro workers, lawyers, doctors. What kind of tattoos do they do these people want? Um, a lot of them are not going for military tattoos as they are. Uh, we get a fairly good amount of memorial tattoos. Oh, really? And, uh, Fairly good amount from of, the servicemen. From servicemen. What people they've lost in, in friends, comrades, uh, things like that. Yeah. And uh, a lot of uh, war-related tattoos like that, and then uh, other stuff that's completely the opposite. Yeah. Where it's not war-related at all. It's uh, more whimsical and fancy art-related. Yeah. And those that seems to be the general makeup. So does it keep you busy? Fairly busy, yeah. It uh, when they come in for related tattoos or fantasy, it gives us a chance to stretch on artwork and yeah. do different types of things that we normally would do, and pulling other source material that they have. Right. And that works out really nice. Yeah. But there's a, there's enough interest in tattooing in in uh, this this little city. Oh it's yeah. It's a fairly small city, isn't it? It's a fairly small city, but it's a suburb of Tacoma itself. Oh, and it's, I see runs together kind of like uh, the boroughs of New York, where we're right. not that far away. It's just a continuation of the southbound road out of town. Oh, I see. And so it has a fairly good amount of uh, light industry traffic. Uh, there's some industry in the area, light yeah. industry. Has there always been a tattoo shop there? In that area, yes. Were you it? Not it exclusively, there are about three others in the area, but there's always been, for about the past 15 or 20 years, there's always been one in that general location. Well, has has, has the uh, interest in tattooing and the increased interest significantly changed the, the, the local picture there as far as tattooing is going? It's changed the imagery. It really hasn't changed the desire to get tattooed. It hasn't really changed a whole lot of impetus on the actual getting the artwork, but it has changed the different, it has made a difference in the images that are being done. When I first opened up prior in 03 to uh, the war, it was hearts and roses and more kind of pro-patriotic military. You talk about Iraq, Iraq, the Iraq. Uh, the Iraq war, yeah. Yeah, okay. And then when the war started out, there was a lot of we're going to get them kind of thing. It's kind of like the World War II. They were like, you know, down with the bad guys, up with a lot of pro-patriotic yeah. stuff. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, it shifted after that a couple of years, and then we started doing more in memory of tattoos, or mm -hmm. more um, images of not so much pro-patriotism, but we're not the bad guys, or they're back to the sweethearts that they missed, and things like that. Really? Yeah. yeah. So it's changed the imagery a bit. Not so much fantasy before, now a lot more fantasy. Yeah. So, uh, how long have you been tattooing? I've been tattooing since 1982 professional. Yeah. And so that's about 27 years. In that, in that location? Or? I started in San Francisco with uh, Henry Goldfield. Greg Irons I got a sure. chance to work with and uh, saw a lot of people in the San Francisco tattoo scene that we all know, uh, Chuck Eldridge, Leo, Dean Dennis, uh, Ed Hardy, Lyle Tuttle, Billy Salmon, uh, there's so many, Scott Sterling, Terry Come on, give me some names, will you? <laughs> oh, that's fabulous. So you got a chance to work with these guys? Uh, be around them when they worked uh, in shops in the area. Uh, so we all would uh, run into each other periodically at different events. Yeah. So it was really quite nice. So if you've had a really good uh, time with uh, tattooing, has been good to you. Tattooing has been very good to me. 
I've been yeah. actually, I consider myself blessed and lucky at the same time, so it was a twofer in just meeting all the people I've had a chance to meet. What's the best thing that has happened because of tattooing in your life? One thing, I don't know if there's one thing, it's been a lot of things. Uh, the people, the profession itself has been great. Uh, the chances of travel, the, just doing a lot of really cool stuff and having some fun. And hanging out with a lot of nice folks. Yeah. It's been really, really nice.